Hello my dear brothers and sisters, welcome everyone to another video. Psalm 15, a poetic jewel inserted in the context of the Old Testament, reflects the search for moral and spiritual excellence, outlining the attributes of the individual who is worthy of dwelling in the presence of God. This lyrical composition, attributed to King David, serves as an ethical and spiritual guide, outlining the characteristics of those who wish to approach the divine tabernacle. The psalm begins with a profound question, a question that resonates through the centuries, Jehovah, who will dwell in your tabernacle? Who will dwell in your holy mountain? This search for the divine abode is not just a physical search, but an exploration of the moral and spiritual attributes that define proximity to the sacred. The tabernacle and the holy mountain symbolize, in this context, the exclusive presence of God and the place where communion with the divine manifests itself most intensely. The psalmist then describes a series of qualities that delineate the character of those who are worthy of remaining in the divine presence. Moral integrity, the practice of justice, sincerity in speech and kindness towards others emerge as fundamental elements. There is a notable emphasis on the importance of interpersonal relationships, highlighting the prohibition of slander, the rejection of evil against others and the honor of those who fear God. The emphasis on truth, honesty, and justice reveals a call to righteousness not only in visible actions but also in the innermost thoughts of the heart. The psalmist paints a portrait of a person whose commitment to morality goes beyond appearances, penetrating the depths of inner sincerity. By proclaiming the acceptance of social responsibility, such as refusing to accept bribes and practicing financial justice, Psalm 15 resonates as a call for integrity in all spheres of life. This integrity ranges from the personal sphere to economic interactions, demonstrating a holistic understanding of righteousness. The psalm culminates with a significant promise, whoever does these things will never fail again. Here, the guarantee that those who follow these precepts will not be shaken highlights the solidity and stability that emanate from a life guided by the outlined principles. The psalm, thus, reveals itself not only as a poetic piece, but as a timeless ethical code that continues to resonate like a beacon, illuminating the path of those who seek closeness to the divine. Let's now reflect on Psalm 15, and then we will pray our Father Amen. O Lord, who will dwell in your tabernacle? Who will dwell in his holy mountain? He who walks with integrity and practices righteousness. And he speaks the truth in his heart. He who does not slander with his tongue. He also does no harm to others. He also does not admit any censorship of others. He in whose eyes the vile is despised. But he honors those who fear the Lord. Whoever even swears against himself does not change. Who does not lend his money with usury. He also does not accept bribes against innocent people. The person who does this will never slip. Lord, my God and Father, I ask you to bless each of these people, to protect them and free them from all evil. Grant them comfort in their hearts, remove all fear, weakness, hurt, anxiety and depression. Free, rescue them. From all the enemy's traps, Lord, and heal those who are sick, whether in hospital beds or in other places. Visit them by your power. My God and Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, we approach you at this time, crying out for your divine intervention and blessing upon all the hearts that have taken the time to contemplate the sacred words of this psalm. You are the God who heals wounds, 
who protects and blesses his children, and we trust in your mercy and love in this special time. Lord, look tenderly on each person who heard this psalm, knowing the joys and pains that reside in their hearts. We ask, Father, that you heal all emotional, physical, and spiritual wounds that may exist. You are the great doctor, capable of restoring and renewing. May hope flourish and peace overflow like a river, flooding every area of need. In your sovereign hands, we place the protection of all those who were here, Father. We know that we live in a world full of challenges, but we trust that your protective hand is upon us. Send your angels to surround and guard each person, warding off all evil and freeing them from all the snares of the enemy. May the presence of the Holy Spirit be felt as an inviolable fortress. Lord, in your infinite love, abundantly bless those who, with sincerity, sought your presence at this moment. Grant dreams of prosperity, not only material but also spiritual and emotional. May each home be permeated by your grace, providing a life of quality and meaning for the families represented here. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whose sacrifice reconciled us to you, we lift up this prayer. May she be like sweet incense before your throne. Beloved Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, entering into your sovereign presence, reconnoitering your majesty and power. Lord, I pray that your divine anointing may flow abundantly upon every person who is present in this sacred moment of reflection and adoration. Renew, O Lord, the spiritual life of each one of them. May the Chama de Fe burn more intensely, illuminating your hearts with the knowledge of your word. Train yourselves, Pi, to be powerful instruments in yours, raising the light of the gospel to all who are lost and needy. Grant wisdom, O Deus, to each one of your children who seeks to follow your paths may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in every decision and that your will prevail in all areas of their lives. Lord, extend your mouths of healing to those who face illnesses. It was done in a hospital bed, touching its restorative power. May your glory be manifested through miraculous cures, so that the testimony of your goodness may be proclaimed. Rebuke, O God, every evil mushroom that is launched against the families represented here. May the peace of the Lord surround the lands and may harmony reign, destroying any work of others. Liberate, Pi, those who face family challenges, guiding them with your loving mouth. Lord Jesus, I thank you for hearing this prayer and for being alive in the lives that I heard. Continue to work in every heart, strengthening faith, renewing hope and showering blessings in measure. In the name of Senor Jesus, Amen. Our Father in heaven, blessed be your name. Your kingdom eats. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, just as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 15, with its transcendent poetry and ethical depth, remains an inescapable source of inspiration and spiritual guidance. As we delve deeper into the words of this psalm, we are invited to an inner journey, to a deep reflection on what it truly means to dwell in the presence of God. The initial question of what will be the privilege of residing in the Divine Tabernacle is not just a historical inquiry, but a continuous echo throughout the ages, 
reverberating in every heart that seeks a deeper connection with the sacred. The search for a more intimate relationship with the divine is not just an expression of religious formality, but rather an ardent quest to understand and incorporate divine principles not intertwined in human existence. The answer offered by the psalmist goes beyond a list of virtues, he described a call to integrity, a call to moral and social responsibility that permeates all aspects of life. Moral integrity, social justice, honesty, and respect for the future are presented not as onerous requirements, but as guiding principles that point to true dwelling in the presence of God. The emphasis on interpersonal relationships is not a mere detail, but rather a deep understanding that genuine spirituality does not manifest itself in daily relationships like others. The exclusion of slander, the prohibition of evil against or near, and honoring those who fear God echo not only as divine commandments, but as foundations of a community that seeks to reflect the image of the Creator. A final promise, he who does these things will never slip, is an anchor of hope in the midst of life's vicissitudes. This statement is not just a guarantee of stability, but a promise that those who follow the principles outlined in Psalm 15 will find steadfastness in their spiritual journey. A promise transcends the temporal and material aspect of existence, aiming for stability that goes beyond external circumstances. Thus, Psalm 15 is not just a piece of art from antiquity, but a guiding lantern that lights the path of those who seek to live a life of meaning, purpose, and divine closeness. As his words resonate through the ages, they continue to challenge, inspire, and nurture souls thirsty for truth, justice, and community as creator. May we, when meditating on the depth of this psalm, find renewed vigor to walk the path of integrity, guided by the eternal light that emanates from these sacred words.